According to the Sonic X Shadow Generations Japanese website, a fourth character may be in this game, having fans theorizing and guessing on who this character could be. And today, I'll try to put all of the characters that make sense to be added, and some that don't, into a list to find the best options. Black Doom is probably the most likely character, being the only other character shown in the trailers, and a level or two as him would be interesting, or just even being teamed up with Shadow for like a final boss fight. Sonic would be very easy to add and would work because almost every single stage that Shadow will go through, Sonic would have also gone through. They could also have an SA2 callback with the final boss if this happens. Silver is a rival character like Shadow in the original generations, and his playstyle would be very unique compared to all of the other characters using his telekinesis. Omega is a part of Team Dark, which Shadow is also in, and he wasn't in the original Sonic Generations, being the only important well-known hero character at the time to not be in the game. Having him be playable in Shadow Generations could explain what he was doing at the time of Sonic Generations. He's also going to be in the Sonic X Shadow Dark Beginnings prologue, so with all of that, Omega is my bet on who the playable character would be. Rouge, like Omega, is also a part of Team Dark, and a character who's closer to Shadow. He would also be more likely if not for being in Sonic Generations. Being the Sonic X Shadow Generations Beginnings Prologue series helps our chances. No. Metal Sonic is also another rival character, like Shadow, and he also has a history with the Robotniks, like Shadow, and they were even partners in Sonic Rivals 2. Eggman has been teamed up with Shadow in SA2 and most likely Sonic Movie 3. He has also helped Shadow multiple times, and with Sonic Movie 3 being more focused on SA2 and also a tie-in with your Shadow and all of that, they could have Eggman in this game. Gerald Robotnik was the creator of Shadow, giving both of them a lot of history with each other, although I don't know how they would make him interesting to play as. Maria is in a similar gate as Gerald's. She and Shadow were practically siblings and is Shadow's whole motive, but she would be difficult to make as a playable character. Emerald may be a strange pick, but because of him being in this trailer for Sonic X Shadow Generation's Dark Beginnings, seeming to have a big part in the plot of an episode or the whole series, he also has some connections to Gerald and Maria. Mephilus takes Shadow's form in Sonic 06, basically being Shadow's Shadow. Mephilus would also be a very unique pick for a playable character, never being playable in a game before. Super Shadow will probably be in Shadow Generations, probably for the final boss, and would make a lot of sense if they went with a more basic option for this fourth character. A new form of Shadow could be what is in the spot, spotlighting a certain form like the winged one, or even new, more powerful version that we don't know about. Android Shadow would be a palette swap, basically nothing really special. A gun soldier could work, especially if there are many levels revolving around gun, and also with Shadow's history, uh, with Maria getting shot by a gun soldier. The president was in Shadow the Hedgehog and had some importance, I think. The commander did see Shadow the Hedgehog get created in his like, tube, and he also tried to kill Shadow the Hedgehog. The Avatar, Infinite, Zavok, Sage, and Starling could work because of either villain slash anti-hero stuff or just being an OC creator. But because they were introduced after Sonic Generations and it's confirmed that Shadow Generations takes place at the same time as Sonic Generations, it is unlikely for them to be added. Chaos is, from what I know, a popular villain from the original Sonic Adventure game, prequel to Sonic Adventure 2, and would also be really interesting with the water physics. The Biolizard has been seen in trailers and was the final boss in Sonic Adventure 2, but if it is playable, I think it would be a combination between the Biolizard and Shadow. Fang has been getting a lot more attention lately from being in Sonic Superstars and also having his own IDW comic series. He also has worked with Eggman in the past like Shadow and could just be an interesting character to add. Terios was Shadow's early design, but as a new character, he wouldn't be a good pick, especially because he's already revealed as a skin. A new character could work, depending on the story of Shadow Generations, but there might be some strange timeline stuff to go with. Those were all the characters that I or other people could think of, but there is another theory. This fourth character might just be a character bio, most likely for Black Doom or a new Shadow form, and not a playable character for Shadow Generations. Knowing what we know of this game and trailers, it would make a lot of sense, even if it would be a letdown. But what do you think? If you have any guesses or even any opinions, consider leaving a comment. Also consider to like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video. It's free, and it helps me know what you guys like. Have a great rest of your day, and see you later.